In the previous video, we saw that if you had something like x to the power of 8, and you multiplied that by x to the power of 11, then when you multiply these things together, you would add the powers together. So we would have x to the 8 plus 11, so x to the 19. Okay, and that's because if I had x to the power of 8, that would be x, uh, that would be 8x's in a row, followed by 11x's in a row. So that all together I would have 19x's multiplied together. So x to the 19. So if you multiply, you add the powers. So then it makes sense that if I am dividing instead, then the opposite would be true, or the reverse would be true. So if I'm dividing, then I must subtract the powers, okay? So x to the 9 divided by x to the 7 would be x squared, okay? 9 take away 7 is 2. If I had x to the power of 50 divided by x to the power of 7, then this would be x to the power of 43. Okay? So, uh, you might be thinking, well, is that, um, why is that? Okay, because before we were able to write out um, these x's together, and I could easily see that together they would have to make like x to the 19, for example. Well, if we looked at x to the 5 divided by x to the, well, let's do x squared, okay? And we looked at this as an example. Then I've got 5x's multiplied together. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'm dividing by x to the 2. So dividing by x times x. Now, these are two separate entities, okay, that I'm dividing. Now, what I have here, if you just ignore all of the other x's, I have an x divided by x. So, a number divided by itself. And any number divided by itself is 1. So, in actual fact, x divided by x is just 1. So, I can cancel those two out because they wouldn't make any difference to me. It would be like multiplying by 1. And now I have these 4x's divided by x. But then I've got, if I blank it out all the other x's, I've got x divided by x. But I know that that would just be 1 as well. So they cancel each other out. And you're just left with x cubed. So that is why when dividing, you get this cancelling going on. But just so that you remember, when you multiply, you add the powers, and when you divide, you subtract the powers, you'll be fine. So if we extend this one step further, and you had something like 12x to the 7 divided by 3x to the 3, then as before, as with multiplying, work with the numbers first. 12 divided by 3 is 4, and then x to the 7 divided by x cubed would be x to the power of 4, okay? Because we subtract the powers. So in exactly the same way as it worked for multiplication, we can do division. But remember, when dividing, you subtract the powers rather than adding them.